Astrobiology is the study of life in the universe. Robotic astrobiologists will one day search for life on other planets, but first we prepare robots to study life in extreme environments here on Earth. Researchers from Carnegie Mellon and NASA are using robotic technologies to investigate the Atacama Desert of Chile. We are trying to understand how life survives in the driest desert on Earth, and in doing so we are shaping the future of robotic astrobiology. We have created a rover named Zoe, equipped with cameras, a spectrometer, and a fluorescence imager to detect microorganisms living in the desert and to characterize their habitat. Zoe's panoramic imager is a triplet of high-resolution cameras mounted atop a pan-tilt mechanism. The imager is used to observe geologic and biologic structures around the rover. The foreoptic of Zoe's spectrometer also resides on the pan-tilt. It is sensitive to light in the visible to near-infrared range and is used to determine the mineralogy of rocks and soils. The fluorescence imager is a new instrument created at Carnegie Mellon. It detects organic fluorescence in daylight by using a high-intensity flash lamp and cooled CCD imager. Paired excitation and emission filter wheels are used to image chlorophyll fluorescence, as well as the fluorescent signatures of probes for amino acids, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Zoe can deploy its plow to uncover the desert's shallow subsurface, where some organisms take refuge from the Atacama's intense ultraviolet radiation. Mapping the distribution of life in the Atacama requires observations across tens of kilometers. Zoe is therefore designed for desert mobility. Its onboard autonomy software allows scientists to explore the Atacama from a remote operations center in Pittsburgh. Each morning, Zoe receives its daily exploration goals and priorities. Zoe's planner uses an optimal search strategy in the space of position, time, and energy to generate a day-long schedule that maximizes science accomplishments and minimizes resource requirements. This path is executed by a navigator that uses stereo vision to produce traversability maps of the near field. Four times a second, Zoe evaluates steering decisions and chooses a safe path to its waypoint. Zoe has navigated autonomously over 250 kilometers with nothing but orbital terrain models. Zoe operates without a GPS or compass, devices that are unavailable on Mars. In 70 instances, Zoe has navigated over one kilometer in a single command cycle. Over three years of field work, Zoe has examined six sites yielding hundreds of panoramic and fluorescence image sets. Fluorescence imaging has revealed microorganisms in many areas. Imagery and spectroscopy have described the surface geology and mineralogy of these habitats. Our science team is now building the first biogeologic maps from data collected by Zoe. Astrobiology rovers help us to understand how life may have developed and survived in extreme environments here on Earth. But they may also help us to learn how to search for evidence of life on the surface of Mars.